Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming and data visualization and we are using ggplot2 to visualize data. Many times we need to highlight a subset or part of the data to tell something more about that and how to highlight that data we'll see in this session. Now for that we'll get a base plot uh, for Palmer Penguin's data set and for that you need to call library Palmer Penguin and this is the data set for penguins from the Palmer station of Antarctica and if you don't have this uh, library with you uh, here that library is there installed on my system but if you see the error then go to install packages and type in Palmer Penguins there click on this and then click install the data set will get installed now we'll see the head of the penguins data set and this data set contain measurements about the penguins and to run the line i will press control enter on my keyboard and you can see the uh, first six rows of that data set species is the first variable that is factor island is the next variable that is a factor variable Build length in mm is there build depth in mm is there flipper length in mm is there and three more variables body mass in gram uh, sex of that and year uh, of that observations are there now we'll see summary to know more about this data set again penguins is the argument of this function we'll run that and we can see here the summary of that in species 152 uh, observations belonging to Adelie species are there then 68 belonging to change trap and 124 belonging to gen 2 and islands are also there Bisco island 168 observations are from Bisco dream island 124 from dream and Torgerson 52 are from Torgerson and 165 female and 168 males are there and 11 observations are there where the sex cannot be determined and other numeric variables are there now we want uh, to plot a scatter plot of this flipper length mm and body mass uh, g and for that i will call ggplot and uh, before that we'll have to call the library ggplot2 otherwise error will be there ggplot2 i will run that then in the ggplot function i will type the data set name that is penguins in the asset mapping aes i want this flipper length as the x-axis i will copy this and bring that here and body mass as the y-axis and i want to see correlation between these two relationship between these two numeric variables and i want to color those according to it will be a scatter plot therefore color will be there i want to color those according to spaces we will uh, add the geom point region we will add the geom geom point and uh, we will set the theme also theme we are going to use classic and this will be our base plot on which we will do our further customization and it is saying that space is not found that s is uppercase here but in actual data set that s is lowercase I will modify that and we'll run that again and uh, this is to say that our here we can see that adelie species change trap species and gen 2 species are there i want to uh, highlight the observations from the biscoy island and for that i am going to use the subset function and that subset function will see the syntax here subset in the subset it takes the data frame as the first uh, argument that is penguins next argument is the logical expression for the selection uh, of observations in that subset and here i will uh, call for the island 
and that equal to uh, biscoi. Please take care of proper spelling and the lowercase uppercase also, because this is sensitive. And here you can see that all biscoi got selected for. We have got a subset which contain the observations from biscoi only. Now we'll put that here and again call geom point. And inside the geom point, in place of data, we'll place this. This will be our new data now. Put that here. Subset, the first argument is data set. Next argument is the logical construction to select for the specific subset of that data. Now, uh, in geom point, the next point will be color. Color is equal to red and size is equal to 3. Little uh, more size. Size shall not be an inverted code. Little larger size. And we'll run that. And it is saying that mapping must be created by AES. And here, that subset shall be uh, declared as data because we are not in the order of the arguments required by geom point. The first argument is mapping and second argument is data. But uh, here, we, our first argument was subset. Therefore, we will make that explicitly. We will declare that as data. And when we run that, we will see the plot where highlight will be there. And this highlight is there. But if you see the highlight, you can see that original points got uh, masked by the highlight. Therefore, we'll bring the points above that highlight. And to do that, I will uh, take this geom from this point. I will select it and I will cut that and will place that before this geom point. So that first highlight will be plotted and then the uh, actual points of spaces will be there and after the highlight geom we'll have to put plus symbol and we'll run that and now highlight will go at the lower there below the point layer and now proper highlighting is there where we can see the uh, gen 2 also got highlighted with the red hollow around that uh, Adeli also got highlighted. Some Adelis are there on the uh, that uh, Biscoy Island. Those are also got highlighted, and some uh, chin straps are there, but very few chin straps are there uh, on the or may not be there on the Biscoy Island. We have to probe it further, and this is how we can highlight a part or subset of the data in the plot to uh, say something more, to provide some more information. And uh, this highlighting works for bar plot also, works for other plots also. Thanks for watching this session. If you have liked this session, please click the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and share this video with your friends. Thanks again for watching.